Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. This video I have a can, uh, not a candle haul, but a wax melt haul from a company called Country Home Candles and it is a family based business here in Ontario. Now a few years ago they did have um, a physical store which they shut down and then they just did online sales but I looking on the website I see they have opened their physical store again. It's in Delhi, Ontario. I'm never around that way but I would like to visit sometime. And I have previously uh, purchased items from them uh, going back quite a few years. I, I did buy a lot of candles from them, but I just kind of stick with the wax melts because uh, the throws and the candles were a little bit um, iffy the past the last time I did order from them. So I just did the wax melts. Uh, now I haven't ordered from a, for a while because their shipping really got quite high and um, I just didn't bother. But I noticed they had a 30% off site-wide sale which is still going on. Plus they decreased their shipping cost. Um, so I thought I, I'd grab some. Uh, so uh, now I did get how many different scents? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about nine different scents, and I got 14 all together. Now, I did get four of the flannel sheets, and the reason I got four of these is this is my absolute favorite laundry scent ever, and I have tried a lot of laundry scents. And this one is just my favorite. Um, now, like any company, it's got hit and misses. Uh, some are strong throwers, some are light throwers. It, it just all depends. Um, some of these actually kind of remind me of <clears throat> Goose Creek candles. I just found that Goose Creek had very deep, rich, complex kind of scents. So if you do like those, um, these are certainly similar to those. Uh, they do, uh, they do, uh, what am I thinking of, a ship to uh, some northern states. Now, you have to check the website. That was the last time I looked. Um, uh, not all states, but I think some northern states they do ship these to. And now, normally these wax melts are $5.99 Canadian, uh, but with 30% off, I think it came to $4.80 or so. But anyway, I'm all over the place here. Uh, so flannel sheets, yeah, is just absolutely my favorite. This is a very strong, long-lasting uh, wax melt also. Oh, it, ju it just, oh, it just is just the best. The best. It just smells like uh, laundry coming out of the dryer, and ugh, it's so good. It's so soothing, so soft. Um, I just love putting this... Um, on a cold winter night and I got my flannelette pajamas on, my flannelette sheets, I'm reading a book and I got my hot drink next to me and um, got this going. It's just so comforting and yeah, just absolutely my favorite kind of laundry, freshly washed sheets kind of scent. So yeah, um, hopefully that'll last a little while. Uh, the other one I've had previously is First Snow. And I think these are 2.5 ounces, just like Sensationals. Um, wax melts. Oh, I don't see it on here. But I think they're like 2.5 ounces or, or what have you. Anyway, um, uh, now the scent notes for First Snow is Juniper Cedar cedar clove with warm vanilla now to me this smells as if you are walking into a uh, wood cabin that has the fire going and in the middle of it is this big huge evergreen that's just being cut down and the saps running down the trunk and they're decorating it for christmas oh it's good you can you get that uh, juniper. Juniper's <clears throat> for an evergreen is a little bit brighter than like fir or balsam. There's a more brightness to it. I definitely get kind of the woodsy note in there. Uh, warm vanilla. There's a hint of sweetness um, and the, the clove just kind of warms everything up. 
Oh, but yeah, I just, I really do like, I remember really liking that one. And uh, wood fire I've had before. So this is basically wood fireplace with a woolen blanket. And again, now this is, um, there's a sweetness in there and I just don't quite know what it is. But it does smell like um, the when you have a fireplace and the flame is really settling down and all you get is those really hot white coals. So it definitely smells like a wood fire. There is a sweetness in there. I just can't figure out what what they added to get that. Just a little bit of sweetness. But it is really good. It's it's pretty authentic. Uh, now this one, <coughs> eucalyptus and sandalwood. Um, exotic wood, musk, and fresh green tropical flora. Now unfortunately I can't smell this one. It's just, I mean, it's just, well on the back it's a little bit. But yeah, it's just so, so light. Whether that'll pick up when it's warmed up, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just it's just too light to really make any heads or tails of it. So yeah, I'm um, not sure what happened there, but we'll see what it's doing when it's burning. Oh, get cozy. I wish I had grabbed a couple more of these. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, and the, the scent notes are a little bit different um, from what I'm picking up. Fresh baked squash, pumpkin, brown sugar, and cloves. And I really like the labels. Someone has their sweater and their wool socks on and drinking some hot chocolate in front of the fire there. I get it like a woolen sweater. I, I get a very earthy um, cinnamon, not red hot at all. Very, very warm cinnamon. Um, what were the other ones? Uh, squash and pumpkin. Well, I don't... I don't really think so. Clothes, definitely. It's very, very warm. Uh, but it smells like someone's wearing a wool sweater and uh, they're baking with the, those really rich, warm um, bakery kind of scents. Uh, yeah, it's just very unique. This one really reminds me of a Goose Creek candle and I cannot think of which one it is, but it smells exactly like that one. Oh, this is just, it's so cozy. It is a bit of a bakery, it is a bakery scent. Um, but yeah, I just, I just, I think of wool sweaters and uh, baking and a warm kitchen when I smell this one. Yeah, it's really, really good. Should have got another one. Uh, this is cherry tobacco. And this is hay. Molasses, whiskey, musk, and cherries. Now this doesn't smell like uh, probably the best cherry tobacco scent is from Yankee, their um, Autumn Lodge, and it also came out as a writing candle, um, the Santa's Pipe. That is the best cherry tobacco scent I've ever smelled. Now I do get cherries. It's not at all like cough syrup. Um, kind of cherry. It's very, very earthy. There's, I get a hint, maybe, maybe a little bit of, um, like a spice. Uh, oh, I'm going nose blind here. Not cinnamon, maybe a clove and nutmeg, but it's not, I don't think that's in here. Um, Hay? I, no, I don't get hay. Sorry, I don't get hay. Molasses? Well, it could be that very rich um, undertone there. Whiskey? I don't think so. It is musky. There is just a very deep, rich um, cherry scent, but not like um, but not like a really sharp uh, medicinal cherry. Very rich, very earthy. Um, yeah, it's very complex. Um, 
but I don't really get so much of that tobacco scent in there. Autumn Trail. Oh, I didn't write down the scent notes. I didn't write down the scent notes for this one. Uh, this one is uh, an apple scent. I love the colors of the wax too. They're all so fallish. Yeah, this is definitely, it's apple, but it's not a, um, a juicy, just bit into the apple kind of scent. There's definitely a woodsy under note in there, very earthy. It reminds me of Bath and Body Works um, leaves, actually. Mm. It's so, these are so just so rich. Um, this one is Red Wine and Tobacco, which is nutmeg, bergamot, citrus, cedarwood, and sandalwood with tobacco and vanilla. So it's got tons of notes in there. Now this one is a little bit on the bright side, not too much, but a little bit on the bright side. I do get a little bit of the wine. It's, it's like red wine that's sitting in an oak barrel. I don't know if I get so much of the nutmeg or the citrus. Well, there's a... Maybe it's the brightness, the bergamot and the citrus is maybe that little bit of brightness in there. Oh yeah, but it's, it's very, very original. Um, yeah, that's very good. Um, fresh, oh, fresh baked bread I've tried before. And yeah, the description is basically uh, fresh baked bread. It smells like fresh baked bread, and I have melted this in my kitchen previously, and it probably filled up about half the kitchen or so. Um, so not it's not too bad, uh, but it's it's uh, oops, ups, 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 down. Uh, it's very authentic, and they're most popular and the one that's been around since the beginning of time. And I did actually burn this in one of their large candles years ago. And that's Grandma's Kitchen. And uh, it just says, smells like walking into Grandma's Kitchen. Uh, it's definitely cinnamon. That's what you get off right off the bat. Not a red hot cinnamon. Oh, this is good. Oh, it's just, it's just so warm and cozy. Oh, it really is a lovely scent. And then roasted uh, pine cones. I've had this previously and I just can't remember. I remember liking the smell, but I just can't remember the throw on it. And uh, yeah, there wasn't much scent notes, just other than, you know, cooking roasted pine cones. Um, now this has a bit of a sharpness, but I think I remember it softening up. It's not... <sighs> It's not really a woodsy note. It's just very, very earthy. There's a hint of spice in there too. Yeah, I remember liking it. I just can't remember the throw. But anyway, that's roasted pine cones. So that is my little haul from Country Home Candles. Um, I'm not sure how long the sale goes on for. Uh, but like I said, there's like 30% off. Uh, there's a couple of scents that I really, really wanted to get, but they were sold out. Um, I think one was Christmas morning, and the scent notes just sounded fantastic. And I can't remember the other one now, but um, anyway, uh, I'll start with these ones anyhow. <laughs> um, but like I said, some of them I've tried before, and some I haven't. Um, I, uh, I, I just remember some having a very strong throw, others didn't, but that's like any company. So anyway, it came quite quickly too. Like I just ordered this, uh, I think two or three days ago and it's here already. So it was pretty quick, quick shipping anyhow. So anyway, uh, that's it. If you tried this company, let me know and uh, which ones you've had luck with or which ones you like. Um, what scents you prefer. Uh, so anyway, that's it guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.